and good afternoon everyone first of all I want to thank you this is Lorenzo Lopez welcome to lunch with Lorenzo Lopez this is a new thing um, it's something that came about as of recent days and um, we're gonna try this out and it's all based on your comments um, if you want to see more then we will give you more of it this is our pilot episode first time but you know one thing about it um, what did you okay what you see is natural uh, there's no script and uh, I'm so wealthy that I don't have the resources for editing so whatever comes out comes out but that's the most exciting thing though I think uh, some of the greatest uh, projects some of the most memorable things usually started off with uh, little or no financing at all in some cases so you never know you never know uh, I am the current bass player with uh, Dread Days and uh, this will be posted on the Dread Days Facebook page and uh, right now we are in the city of uh, uh, Marina del Rey which is uh, Spanish for uh, uh, King's Marina <laughs> Playa del Rey is on the other side which is uh, the King's Beach so uh, welcome to lunch with Lorenzo Lopez 2013. Um, we had a delivery job uh, with a particular catering company and uh, I had just picked up this job around that time and I was at I mean I was damn near rock bottom but that's where I crossed paths with him uh, he was one of the drivers and um, we, we've known each other to be musicians so that was our uh, connection from the beginning uh, he knew that I was in music I knew he was in music and then uh, we also were of a similar background, a part Jamaican background, he's a Jamaican background, my father's Jamaican. Um, and so we, we had that connection there too. And uh, we just connected as, as individuals, but at the same time it happened to be that we were also musicians. What got you into music to begin with? What got me into music? Uh, it was, um, let me see. Um, let me see. Uh, city ordinance? No, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> what really got me into music? Um, that's an interesting story too, because it didn't start just right away. Um, I got into music seriously uh, around uh, 2011, I think, 2010, 2011. And that's when I started teaching myself uh, the bass guitar. Um, but I, I first bought a bass guitar when I was 23. And um, I'm only 27 now, so it's been three years. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, I, I, just, uh, I just naturally... Well, I, I, I liked the bass anyway, even before I started playing it. But uh, I just got into music um, when I started teaching myself just a few years back. Did you play any instruments growing up? No. No. I played nothing growing up. Nothing. Why'd you choose the bass? Um, why did I choose the bass? I guess, um, again, because um, I, I've always liked the bass anyway. And um, I, I'm, I'm certainly not a Lewis Johnson or a Les Claypool. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, you don't have to be. Uh, some of the noted, some of the most noted bass players did not slap bass. Paul McCartney being one of them, he doesn't slap bass, and he's a he's a world renowned bass player. Uh, Aston Family Man Barrett, who was Bob Marley's bass uh, bassist, he never slapped bass, and he's uh, he's uh, he's he's world renowned. Uh, uh, Robbie Shakespeare, all these other guys. So so you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, I had some um, mixed feelings at first because. Um, one bass guitarist who, are, who I became very good friends with when I first started playing, well, I started playing San Bernardino, and he was the slap bass, and um, I noticed that um, it generated a lot of attention. Um, but again, you, know, you don't have to play that way. Uh, all you have to do is just be who you are, and I can display who I am best uh, with the bass guitar keyboards too if I practice a little more. Were you inspired by any particular bass players? No. No. Uh, and, and that's an honest question. I, I, I mean, it's an honest, honest answer. I, I was not. 
when I first started, a couple of times I was saying that, you know, well, maybe Paul McCartney, but that's really not true. Um, <clears throat> we're both left-handed, and uh, I like playing the Hoffner. I understand why he likes the Hoffner, um, but I, I didn't start playing because of any particular person. Oh, and Connie still beat me. You are of Jamaican and Panamanian and American background. Did you listen to any music from these cultures growing up? Um, I listened to a lot of um, a lot of Jamaican music, yes, and um, some Spanish and music. You have it. Lunch with Lorenzo Lopez. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you would like to see more of us. Let us know.